and it has arrived. The 23 centimeter, 36 element Yagi that I purchased from antennas-amplifiers.com. This is the 23 centimeter, 36 DXA. It's their competition or DXEME moon bounce uh, antenna. They have some that are rated for higher power, some that are rated for lower, some rated for higher wind, and a lot of other um, uh, models there. Um, antennasamplifiers.com, give them again. I did pay for this, no, nobody gave me this. I sold this stuff that you saw on Facebook. I sold some radios and stuff and bought that Yaesu FG736. I bought this, I bought some other stuff. Repurposed some of the money from things that I have sitting around that I'm not using. Um, so you can see looking at this, my wife, when she, Shell says, that looks just like the one that you were building. Well, it, 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 it sort of is, you know, except a little different. Like I was using a one inch boom. They're using a three quarter inch. I have all these parts over here. Like, see, I was 3D printing all these pieces here and I had it on a one inch boom. They used three quarter inch. Also, I used six millimeter elements. They used four. They did not put the rubber caps. And I like the way that they have, if I can get this without the sun blaring, it's hot out here. You know, can you see that? All right. I guess those are screwed through into the boom. And then, uh, you know, when you tighten it down, it locks on here so they're not glued like mine attempted to be like this. So, duh. Um, let's see. So the folded dipole here, folded dipole, the end connector on top, and it's got the coaxial match here. I even, man, I even got close and 3D printed something like this, just like that, with um, some CAD software trying to manipulate it and then putting the end on there. I just could not get that damn thing right. I mean, it's very critical at this frequency and to get the spacing and all that stuff right. But, you know, the pieces inside, I'm not going to go inside and get it. I showed my wife, I said, look, I, I grabbed the reflector and the first director and put it right here. And man, I was, I was just about spot on on the measurement. But everything is dependent on the boom size, folded versus straight dipole, the element spacing and the element diameter and, and the plastic here that it's attached to, the, the height above the boom, stuff like that. A lot of different variables. Now, um, there is end caps on here. And remember I was trying to build that one, guys, and you said the end caps are going to throw it off. Well, they figured out how to put end caps on this antenna, which I 3D printed some end caps, but everybody said it wasn't going to work. So I'm not sure why this one has end caps, but everybody said no mas, no good, no bueno. Um, so we're going to put this on the analyzer soon, and it's going to be up on this tripod here. And the moon last night was great, man. It was right there. It was blue, uh, blue skies, you know. Yesterday it wasn't even dark yet, and there was people in the chat. Uh, this wasn't here, and I didn't have any ambition to get out there and try on UHF with that one there. But this is coming uh, real soon when I get some other work tasks done uh, out of town. I'm going to uh, get this on the analyzer, check it out, try to do a scheduled operation with somebody. And uh, there you go. But this is a also a three-piece boom. So uh, I didn't have any instructions, but pretty easy to put together. Here's, you know, numbered. One, two, right? If I could see that like that. Yeah, one, two. Okay. And then they have three, four there. And then five, six. All right. So that's pretty much it. It only took five minutes to put this thing together. And... Uh, Looks pretty good. You know, one thing I'm curious about, like when I was asking on, when I was making mine, I thought this folded dipole had to be like straight up and down. Some people showed an antenna they made with the folded dipole this way. This one's like on an angle. I'm not sure what that's about, but anyways, my phone says that it is overheating. So now I got to shut this video off because it says powering down if not cooled. Uh, so let me turn this off. Phone's overheating. It's about 100 degrees outside right now. And uh, that is the, once again, the 23 centimeter 36 DXA from antennas-amplifiers.com. 7.3.